What's going on, everybody? This your boy, Minister Paul Williams here with In Faith Ministries. Man, God, Cass, man, I'm so excited to bring y'all a new word, man. I hope that y'all had enjoyed y'all weekend, man, y'all Easter. Listen, today I want to talk to y'all about something so simple, but so uh, overlooked, and that's love, man. And the reason why love is so important, because the Bible tells us in Mark 12, verses 30, um, that it's one of the two most important commandments and that's in chapter 12 verse 30 but the reality of it is man us as believers should be practicing in love because man love is the monster covers the multitude of everything man so it, the reality of it is that it's harder for us to uh we take more energy into the into hating or disliking or having strife or anger towards an individual because the reality of it is that love is who we are when we accepted the lord jesus christ we accepted him man and when we accepted him we we put down things of those calibers and of hatred strife anger and if those things are in your life listen you got the opportunity to just uh submit and just give them to God, man. Listen, because we know God is love. And so if we operating in anger, strife, resentment, and those type of things, is those, are we operating in kingdom love? No, not by, by far. But the reality of it is this, guess what? That us as believers, God tells us, listen, in verse 30, and you shall lo love the one, your God, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you sh shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Listen, the Bible even tells us that love is very important. And love is so important that us as believers in Christ and followers in Christ Jesus should be able to love everyone because that's what the Bible, how can we, the Bible tells us, but how can we bring people or encourage people to come to follow Christ when we're, when we have anger, resentment, and strife in our lives? But at the same time, if your brother was a Muslim, would, and he needed your help, but you've been knowing him since he was a kid, would you not pick him up because he's a Muslim? So, or an, another denomination, would you not help another brother, but we supposed to act in love? So what I'm saying is that you don't have to partake in people's uh, agendas, but we supposed to love everybody. And the reason why it's important to love everybody, because we, we, we showing them that, hey, we're not judging. We're, we, we're, we're just being examples of what it is to be part of the kingdom of God. And that's love. And it takes more energy to hate on or to have anger towards or resentment towards or not wanting to help another person than it does to love an individual because actually to be real love is something that we should practice daily and weekly because it's a, it's a hard task to love someone that may have done you wrong but what jesus christ did on the cross he made it all possible for those things to be possible so if it's any type of anger or resentment or hatred towards an individual that you may have in your heart. Listen, you don't have to go to that individual, but go to Christ. Ask Christ, hey, listen, God, I, I just want to come with you with a sincere heart and ask forgiveness towards such and such, such and such. And that's the that's the process. That's it right there. And let God do, do the rest of the work. I mean, and that's so important as, uh, as being believers and, and followers of Jesus Christ, that we really take the time and take the opportunity to uh, get those things out of our life, resentment, stri uh, strife, anger, uh, unforgiveness, but that we also uh, practice love, love in our speech, love in our actions, a spiritual love, an agape love, a love that's saying, hey, you may have done me wrong, but I'm going to turn the other cheek. And turning the other cheek meaning, guess what? I'm not going, I'm no longer going to uh, fuel the fire with fire. I'm going to turn the other cheek. And you know what? Act in love because it is so important that we start to walk in the word, start to walk as 
uh, Jesus want us to walk, as God commanded us to walk. But we have to start somewhere. And I feel, in faith ministries, feel that, you know, let's start with love, man, because love is even giving a homeless person something. Love is even, per hey, I got $5, but here go 250 You know, let's, let's start to uh, put our flesh aside and start to walk in the spirit and love, not just for ourselves, but for in Christ, for what he's already done for us. Listen, this week, we're going to work on love, man, and, you know, just saying some kind words to maybe an individual we haven't even talked to at work, or just saying some kind words to uh, an individual, period. You know, those small words can really impact someone's day, like, hey, I love you, or, you know, Jesus loves you, or, hey, what's going on, man? You want to get some lunch? Whatever the case may be, but let's practice things in love. Because what God said in Mark 12, verse 30 is that, uh, 31 as well, is the second is this, you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. So how do you really love yourself? Let's start to practice to put ourselves aside and start to love an individual as we love ourselves. And I know don't nobody want to do harm to themselves, do they? But listen, I'm so thankful to be able to bring y'all, you guys a word today and hopefully it impacts your life in some type of way. And if you, and if it has impacts your life in some type of way, or I said something that made it to us to me, you want to, to uh, donate, uh, you can do so. Feel free at IFM um, 2400 on Cash App. Listen, to help further uh, In Faith Ministries um, and help give back to the community. I'm so thankful, and we're going to end it in prayer. I mean, you guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome Wednesday. And one other thing, listen, uh, I'm starting to be uh, down at Percy Priest at, uh, between 1.30 and 2 o'clock on Sundays, man, if anybody want to join me for prayer and just worship, man, and just giving back to the community, man. And it, it's, 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 it starts outside, you know, outside of four walls, and I believe that's a a great opportunity, man, to allow people to um, hear the word of God, man, and just get in his presence. And it, we ain't out here bashing people over the head, you know, with the Bible. We just praising God in, in prayer and, you know, and just enjoying the opportunity that God has given us each and every day. And that's the breath of life. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you, Father God. Just to say thank you, Father God. I ask you to cover each and every individual. Father God, watching the channel. Father God, allow something I may have said to impact their lives, Father God. We just come before you, Father God, to cover their family and uh, friends and just cover the multitude, Father God, because you're a great God. And we ask you to remove anything that may be in their bodies, a sickness, any diseases, Father God. But continue to be an awesome God and guide them close and near to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Listen, I love you guys. I hope to see y'all soon.